what's up guys so I just got set up a little bit late but better late than never had a bit of an issue getting up the tree this morning I was uh, using SRT for the first time in a real life situation I've practiced plenty but it's always a little different once I got it figured out, the climbing part went really easily. So, we're back on this field that Danny and I sat on like three weeks ago or so during archery. And there was a ton of activity out here. We had does all over the place. And uh, two really nice bucks came in. And, and then we have another big buck on camera. Hopefully there's one bedded down somewhere in this field and eventually it stands up. Mark is set up like 170 to 200 yards over, to, over my right shoulder over here. And uh, I'm in the, pretty close to where we were during the archery sit. We're all set right now. It's been it's been pretty quiet so far. Um, I didn't bump any deers coming in that I know of, so that's good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get some action this morning. Never showed herself again. She's still out there somewhere. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock right now. The uh, moon phase favors movement kind of early afternoon, so we're gonna get down a bit early today and sit through most of the afternoon. We still know there's a couple good bucks around here, so we're gonna give this spot one more sit before we move on. Just find some hot sign and hunt that.
been howling all day long. I kind of hope it dies down a little bit. It may not till this evening. We have a potential hurricane um, out on the Gulf Coast. <clears throat> I think it's still in the Caribbean, but it may be making its way to Florida, so hopefully yeah, that gets the deers moving. Mark is about 170 yards um, west of me. He's covering another trail that we got on that side. There's Mark. Back pretty early. I got set up around 2 o'clock. Normally for the afternoon hunt, I'd get up here like 4 o'clock. Personally, I was voting for taking a little nap. I only slept like 4 hours last night. But Danny was adamant that we get back out here. So I hope I can stay awake for this one. Danny's set up like 150 yards away from me, like right somewhere over there. So if these deer come out anywhere in this field, we should be able to shoot at them. But since he can see everything, and I'm tired, I'm gonna take a little bath. not afraid of heights. <laughs> He's like 40 feet up in that tree. But if you're not afraid of heights, it's a great idea during gun season to get really high. Because especially when you're sitting over this like these bedding areas, this brush, it's so thick that the deer can just disappear on you. And so even though you feel like you can see really far, you wouldn't be able to see the deer that are really far out there because they'd be under the brush. That doe yesterday, she was like 60 yards away from me and she disappeared on me too. So, and I'm not that high up. so far. I haven't really seen anything at all. I figure I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, do some light rattling. Well, um, I haven't been seeing anything where I was set up earlier. So I decided to go for a little, a little hike in this Thicket. This is where that um, that buck we saw on the second day came out of. Not really seeing scrapes or rubs or anything. I'm wondering if they just moved on. Maybe they were just cruising. Um, kind of trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for this afternoon. Hey right, guys, so it's the uh, second day. We didn't see anything this morning. Danny and I have been hunting like less than 200 yards away from each other on this field where we saw those big bucks um we're gonna change it up a little bit i uh i'm gonna push a little further back in there's another field a little further back that um they might be hanging out at danny's gonna jump over 
to a completely new area. Private property. <laughs> no, he's actually heading. Uh, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna hunt a little closer to the check station than most people probably would want to. But um, looks like there's some good trails going into that area, so he's gonna go check it out. So we're just kind of uh, scouting our way in right now and just setting up on whatever looks the best. So it's a nice little piece of woods. It has some mixed oaks in with a. Uh, Quite a bit of palm trees it's like a lot of this place but um, i'm hoping that since it's kind of it's a lot closer to the front that less people hunt it we'll see what i find hopefully i can find some decent setup quite as excited about where I am. Normally I like to see a little further. Um, but I have some short palm trees in front of me that kind of block me. So it's not ideal, but there's a, a lot of gold berries here. And that seems to be what they're feeding on right now. absolutely possible that something comes through. So the little area that I was planning on going to actually Looked very promising. There was a lot of rubs and um, fresh, fresh rubs and old rubs, and there was rub lines, um, trails every which way. But there was already two leaders in there, so I decided to get out of that area and move a little further south in this particular block. And uh, I came across this little spot that's like bordering a little bit of a swamp, and then I have um, palmetto flats out in front of me out to my left I got some oak trees and more like little young pines mixed within the palmetto flat and then if you go further back behind me it's, it's more palm trees and oak trees are mixed within those palm trees so it's a pretty interesting area very very diverse habitat there's, there's a lot of sign in here
I've been moving through this creek bottom. It's a beautiful area. It's all grassy, it's kind of unexpected, but the creek is moving pretty fast. And there's a ton of squirrels. They're providing enough sound cover for me to sneak around in here. I think if I keep this up, I'm gonna run into something. I saw a ton of sign in there. I dropped a camera. I'm gonna be back here in two weeks. I've kind of debated what I want to do right now. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> it's the last day of the hunt. And just debating what to do because I could set up on a tree back behind me here that I can look into that creek where I saw a lot of sign but I just went through there and stunk it all up. Also down this way is the tree that I set up on the first day and I saw some does milling around in that field and at this point, I'd be pretty happy to take a doe. So I might just go set up over there. All right guys, we're back out here for the afternoon. So we just heard a shot not too far away, probably or 500 yards away on the other side of this creek that we're by. The pessimist in me wants to think that that big buck we want just got shot, but it's just as likely that somebody shot a little buck or a doe or didn't shoot anything, missed, shot a hog. There's lots of game out here. I'm gonna stay positive and remind myself that gunshots means the animals are moving. So hopefully they move over here. Yeah, the 
I felt good. I'm 99% sure that doe is toast and she was an older doe. You know, she's contributed to the population plenty. <clears throat> but anyway, let me call Danny. Yeah. Yo, what up? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's toast. I saw, like, I saw, you know, bushes, like, thrashing around where she fell down. But. Yeah. Yeah, I, cool. I shot, I shot her at 80 yards, but uh, it looked like she ran, probably fell down, like, right next to the road. That would be convenient. Yeah. All right, so I'm heading over to Mark now to uh, go try that down. She, she might literally just be running. She might literally just be right here. I think I shot her. It looks like there's a trail right here. This is probably where they came through. You have you have more experience with these these muzzle loaders. Is it uh, usually a lot of blood on the site? Mm, not usually. You couldn't have shot her here. Where are you set up? What? Where were you set up? You think she was next to this tree? Well, so I remember that dead tree being on the left of where I shot her. And there's just a little road over there. Uh -huh. I think it was somewhere right around here. So I shot her. And this shit's obviously really tough. Actually, is that good one? Shit. Alright, so after. Looking at the Does that look footage, kind of... we ended up finding blood here. There's a chunk there. There's chunks. There's a chunk there. What kind of blood that's do you lungs, think? That's lungs, dude. Is, that's a piece of lung, right? Right, right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, there. Yeah. There's blood. She, so she should be laying right back here, I think. Right there. Yeah, blood right there. Hold on, let's stay on it. Right here. She went this way. She went that way. Right, right, right in here. I see a trail there. Yeah. Well, let's stay on the blood. Oh, here. Do you see more blood? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep yeah. following blood. I think she, like, maybe ran this way and, like, looped. There it is. <laughs> Got her. Uh, nice shot. I'd dude. say that'll do. <laughs> That's a nice shot. <laughs> yeah, That's very nice shot. That's your nanny. I'm sorry, bro. Look at that. Look at that long face. That's not my nanny. I mean, she's not a. Clearly not mine. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> nice. I got worried there for a second, dude. I was a little like, bit. Shit. But look, we had the footage. We went back and kept looking at the footage and figured it out. A knot on that tree is not, uh, is in a mistakeable. Yeah, that, that eye staring back at me, I was like, shit, she's still alive. I was worried. But All right, guys, so we got work to do. Hey, that's my first muzzleloader deer. Nice. And uh, and my first Florida harvest of this season, so. Congratulations. Hell yeah. It's a big day. I'm excited. Big day. All big right. night. All right. Time to get to work. Yeah. Peace. All right. So, Mark just harvested, harvested his first doe out of the Merlin. And uh, we got something going on here. A little bit of a celebration, it looks like. Looks like a bit of a UFO. Yep, that's a rocket. Yeah, you can hear the booming now. Wow, that's awesome. It just looks like a speck on my phone. I wish you could see the trail. When I saw these, this one and the other doe that she was with come into the field, I immediately was pumped up, 
my heart was racing. I had the, the fever like crazy. And I had to wait like a solid 15 minutes till she gave me a clear shot. She was in really thick stuff, so. But uh, this is my first kill with a muzzle loader, or first uh, deer with a muzzle loader. So uh, I'm shooting the Traditions Buckstalker. Uh, the gun really isn't that important. It's really about the bullets that we use. Uh, the uh, Barn Spitfire TMZs uh, with Blackhorn 209 powder. It just, I mean, look at that shot. It was as perfect as it gets. You know, that's exactly where you want it to be. So she didn't go more than 20 yards. And uh, basically no meat wasted. I didn't hit the shoulder. Got it right through the lungs. Quick, clean death. So we're going to get her back to camp, get her checked out, and uh, skin her up and get all the meat off of her that we can. This is what we, this is what we do it for. It's pretty chill. I think it's pretty lame. Gotta get amped up. What's up, YouTube? Oh, <laughs> it's me, Mike, again. All right, guys. So uh, we're done hunting for the weekend. Um, oh, I didn't know it was rolling. <laughs> I thought I it. Yeah, it's rolling. Yeah, so we're done hunting for the weekend. Um, you know, I took that doe, and uh, we didn't see any bucks, unfortunately. Um, it seems like the uh, the rut has kind of come to an end here, um, and and I think they're they've gone into their deer holes and uh, they're not coming out. So uh, put it. We found some uh, some sign in some pretty thick areas. We put some cameras on it, and uh, I'll be coming back in two weeks uh, with our buddy Ben. So hopefully we'll uh, get a better idea of where they're hanging out, and maybe we'll be able to shoot one in uh, general gun. Yep. So, and uh, if you guys want to support our channel a little bit, go check out our Patreon page. Uh, there you can uh, make a small monthly donation that's going to help us take the channel to the next level. And uh, if you're interested in getting some free gear, go check out our quarterly giveaway at the link somewhere up here. Right there. And what else we got? Uh, oh, if you're looking to save a little bit of money and get yourself a new saddle, Go check out arrowhunter.us. They make some awesome saddles. That's what we've been hunting out of. And uh, you can save 10% off by using the code SWAMP10. With that, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Adios.